Welcome to the weekly analysis of the Forex market. Today, fibs and trend lines, I think, are the best to review these four currency pairs. First of all, be aware, though, that this video is shown to a global audience. Take a look at AdmiralMarketsGlobal.com to see if it is suitable for you. Select your country of residence and contact an appropriate entity. Also, please be aware that trading for exchange at global financial markets is considered high risk. Please seek the advice of an independent financial advisor for more information on that. This video is for informational and educational purposes only. By continuing watching this video, you agree with this disclaimer and you are aware of the risk involved when trading. All right, let's start with the euro dollar weekly chart. We see the following. We see a strong bullish weekly candle and that's indicating a lot of strength. I think it's a decent side it's engulfing the week before. We're of course talking about this area right in here. And I think that that could lead to a continuation this week. I think that from this point of view, a break of last week's high. We could see a bit of retracement of last week's bullish candle, but ultimately a continuation up to the 61.8 Fib or 78.6 Fib seems likely this or next week. Let me show you on the chart like this, of course, these engulfing twins. So a bit of a, a dip here to retrace that and a move up to retest basically the broken trend line that we already have here and these Fibs for a turnaround, I think makes the most sense. Now, if price does break through this top and uh, the origin of this fib at 114.25 then my bearish analysis is out of the window is invalidated and we're going to get a bigger consolidation zone basically uh, and we get a basically a, a bigger correction we're in a big correction of course as you can see right here and we'll get an extension of that correction uh, up to 116 117 uh, would be the next resistance levels to think about for the moment though uh, basically i think that there could be a bit of retracement of that friday bullish candle about halfway perhaps uh, up to the high here of uh, two days ago uh, or Thursday I should say and then I would see I, I would expect to see that bounce uh, and retracement higher to 112.50 113 on the four hour chart that could look like this basically kind of a bull flag pattern and a break of that bull flag is, is a trade that I would be looking for and then I will look for resistance of course and turn around uh, basically reversal trades at these fibs now if price were to break through especially i would say this little zone right in here on the four hour chart uh, that looks like a neat little uh, support zone now if price were to break through uh, below that then something else could be going on and the end of the retracement here could be a fact and we might see continuation of the downtrend uh, finally uh, basically start so that's another scenario i want to keep an eye on of course as well the great thing is that you can take a look at our webinars on Tuesday, Wednesday. We're going to keep an eye and update basically at this video with new information Tuesday, Wednesday morning. We're going to take a look at Fibonacci trend lines tomorrow. And Wednesday, we're going to take a look at strategy uh, using momentum and correction. We've got other webinars as well. Nenet on Monday and Wednesday, looking at his uh, price action trading school and weekly FX recap. And Thursday, together, we take a look at Renko bars. So hope to see you in one or all of these webinars. Now regarding the rest of the Forex market, what I wanted to talk about, first of all, the pound USD cable here, uh, respecting uh, these fibs, but also respecting the opposite fib. If we put the fib from here, basically uh, to, let's see where my fib is, there it is, to here. And we also see respect for that fib. So we're basically in a triangle. Price is respecting support or resistance and not able to break out. Now we do have a, a pound event on Thursday, the interest rate decision. Uh, so I think that that could be interesting if there is a decrease of the interest rate, perhaps that would uh, occur in, in that case, I would expect price to break through support and we could see a bearish breakout. If that doesn't occur, we could probably just see price basically continue in this channel, this one hour channel. You can see uh, basically stay within it and just rise within that channel and retest higher resistance, maybe all the way up at 135 and the top of that triangle before price could uh, make a bounce back down all right so that does depend on the news event until that news event i think that price is in a slight bullish angled uh, upside channel very slight though very mild uh, and very choppy as well ultimately the triangle here the contracting triangle i think is more important and price is just right smack in the middle of it so not that interesting from my point of view on the daily chart, you can see that triangle too. You know that that's basically what it is. Yeah, Friday bullish candle, so there could be a slight upside until the news event on Thursday. And I wouldn't be surprised if it makes a bit of a dip. That there could be a bounce there, 
uh, back up to the top of that triangle. That could be interesting perhaps tomorrow or Wednesday. But for today, I really don't see anything uh, very interesting on this pound. Dollar yen is at a bouncing spot. It is at a 61.8 fib. It is at trend line. However, we are also seeing a very strong downtrend. All right. So on this weekly, you can see pretty strong momentum to the downside. On the monthly, of course, we also see reason for price to bounce. It is at a 50 fib. And we can see that pretty clearly when we put a fib from here to here. And you can see, boom, 50 fib, important monthly fib, important bouncing spot due to these support levels right there. So from this perspective, are we basically seeing a hook back for a bigger bounce to the upside? Or is the downtrend that's very clearly visible on the weekly more important? And I think that to answer that question, we're going to have to see how price responds to the 61.8 fib. Is it going to break through uh, and move down to the 78? Is it eventually going to break through the bottom? Yes. Then I would expect downside to continue. If it bounces, however, and we see a daily candle, a bullish candle right here, and we kind of see a hook back, and then like this, we're probably going to break through that resistance and make a bigger upside. So it's, it's a very interesting spot, one where uh, basically it can go both ways, and we're monitoring how price responds here today to see if it will make a hook back and bounce. If it is, it could be interesting to look for longs here. If it doesn't, it could be interesting to look for shorts as it breaks and goes down to the 78.6 fib. Last but not least, the Aussie, it's in a triangle too. Kind of repetitive, but yeah, there is triangles on the dollar yen, the Aussie end, and the cable. And I'll be looking for a break of that triangle to the downside for a long-term break or to the upside for a big long-term breakout as well. We can see that on a daily chart like this. Now, I'll be looking for a daily candle to, to poke through that to the downside or, sorry, to the upside or to the downside before I get confirmation of a breakout. So this is not something that's going to happen very soon. Also, we have an Aussie interest rate actually just like the pound earlier on Tuesday uh, or, or Monday, I guess, depending on what time zone you live in. But, you know, within the next uh, uh, 24 hours or so, we're going to have that uh, interest rate decision. That will, of course, have some impact, perhaps, uh, depending on the exact decision. But that's something you want to be careful of. It could, it could push the price up or down. But, you know, from this point of view, a lot of caution. We're getting into August, so I'm going to be careful. But... Looking at a strong daily candle like this, uh, I would not be surprised to see a bit of a dip and then bounce up to that resistance. That's probably the only thing that I think could be uh, interesting uh, after the news event is, is waiting for a bit of a retracement to the 38.50 Fib. We see strong momentum on this hourly chart. So I think that that, if you know, push comes to shove, if I have to make a choice, I think that could be interesting for short, short intra-week trade. Uh, from about 75.50, 75 up to 76.50 and uh, 77. All right, hope to see you in those webinars. We'll be talking about these setups and more, of course, in the live webinars. Hope to, of course, see you then. Also, check out our content and analytics updated daily and wish you all, above all, great trading.